um, for you, what did you kind of do to, to get back into good health? Uh, I mean, I just honestly, I just took off from throwing and uh, just really focused on getting my body in shape and trying to get ready for the season. Is there any fear going into the spring, in the spring next year? You know, your arm holding up and things now that you had a season that had a kind of ha hampered by injury a little bit. Uh, what, any fear at all with that? No, 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 I don't, uh, no, no fear at all. I mean, I, I think I've done a pretty good job of uh, getting my body in shape and uh, I think I have a good plan about attacking the season this year. So, no, no, I'm not really worried about it. A lot of times in the offseason you guys want to add another pitch. Have you kind of given any thought to that? Uh, I don't really know. Right now I'm really just working on getting my arm in shape, so I haven't really worked on many pitches, just uh, fastball change up. So just kind of working on command of everything and uh, just trying to make my pitches better than they were last year, I guess. How frustrating is it to be forced to take a break so early in the career like that and get a restock and set for the second season? Uh, I mean, obviously, you want to get out there and pitch for your team whenever you can. So when you're when you're sidelined a little bit, it, it is tough to watch, sit there and watch because you won't be out there helping. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's part of the game. It's it's happened, so you just got to bounce back and uh, work work to prevent it next time. But you go into probably go into Friday nights, sort of a leadership role there with those two guys behind you. What do, what do you tell them about the grind of being in the rotation of the SEC team? Um, I think I think that they do a pretty good job of understanding. It. You know, Coach Fox. You know, I mean, you just got to go out there and attack and. You know, we're playing in front of 15,000 people, so that's part of it, and that's a variable that a lot of people don't uh, take into consideration, but I think they're ready for it, and uh, I think we got some pretty good guys lining up in that role. Who are some of the guys that really stood out to you this fall pitching-wise? <clears throat> a lot of the new guys are really good. We've got a lot of new freshmen. Uh, Davis Rokos, really good pit pitcher, and uh, Christian McLeod, he's glad he's back, and he, I mean, he's always been good. He's going to do what he does, and uh, it's just glad to have him back out here. And uh, Eric Santola, you know, he's got electric stuff, and uh, if he ever figures it out, he's going to be really, really good. An SEC freshman of the year, so pretty darn good year for you. But what do you have to do to, to take another step forward to, to, to grow as a pitcher? Um, I mean, one thing is just getting my body right and uh, getting prepared for the season. And uh, I mean, it's a lot of innings, a lot more innings than I ever had thrown before in my life before last year. So just kind of getting ready to endure that and, uh, you know, just working on the game. And, you know, you, lot, you learn a lot out here pitching, so a lot of mental stuff. And uh, just, you know, I kind of know how I attack the season a little better this year, I feel like. You mentioned getting your body right a couple times. When do you anticipate your, your throwing schedule to start intensifying and ramping up a little bit? I mean, I've been throwing a lot. I mean, I've been throwing bullpens and everything. So, I mean, I'm pretty close to probably getting back on the mound and uh, pitching against some live hitters.